Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. All right, when we left off, we were, uh, well, we had just had a lot of exposition of, uh, what was happening behind the scenes that we didn't know about dropped on us, and now we're going to continue on with our little journey via the trains and possibly we'll pick up prompto along the way i'm hoping because uh it didn't Ready take this long Just with the other two the damage cost for some new ones give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off then dining car is open if you need a break eh don't need a break all that much so shall we shove off then yeah let's do it let's go Alrighty. Some more XP. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Yeah, they are. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. Yeah. Oh, will do. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. Oh, is that? It's snowing. Get your ass ah. on board. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fuck you, Gladdy. It's starting to snow. It's cool shit. And this is where Prompto's stuff truly begins. A frozen ravine where the fallen Shiva lies. A solitary railroad carved through its unforgiving snowscape. With Biggs and Wedge driving, the train makes its slow and steady way towards the Imperial capital. Through the Gorova uh, Rift, I guess. Gorovas Rift? No, I can't fucking pronounce that. Mainly because I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. Gorovas? I'm assuming. <laughs> Had to drink my coffee there for a second. Nice to be able to swivel my chair with no noise whatsoever. Oh, it's so nice. And it's so comfy. I have a headrest. Ah. <laughs> uh, the other chair only just came up to, like, the top of my back. And that was it. That was all the support I had. Oh, but this is nice. So, like, it wasn't even the top of my back. It was like right underneath the top of my back which you know is surprising because i'm short well short ish i mean 510 is not too short but i mean if mark calls himself short at that height i'm short yeah okay You, you Look at do. All that snow. You do remember. No it's just it's so me cold in here. Gladi and Ignatius. The right? glacier's cadaver won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us well, yeah, pass that's through true. the gorge without incident. It's well, what's after I mean, the gorge I'm worried about. Yeah, that would be a little concerning. Well, I get to move around the train, free to roam around the train until it arrives can examine the chair stop exploring no 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 once we get through gore of us we're there we've come quite a long way <sighs> here's hoping we find prompto by that time oh i was yawning a little bit i apologize <laughs> it's fairly late for me to be recording this i'll admit Mega Phoenix, hey! Got good shit in here. Debased banknote. Not that that's gonna help me too much. High elixir. And rusted bit. Well, there's still more stuff for me to collect, so. Electrolytic condenser. Hey, it's the car! Graylian Medal of Distinction, hey? Hey, Regali, how you doing, girl? Alright. Well, 
Let's get back to the car, and maybe we can go to the front. Oh, oh, almost missed you. Chrome bit. There we go. We keep on moving towards the front. Oh, almost missed you too. Hi, Elixir. It's just a normal Elixir. I was just saying hi. <laughs> Hi there, Elixir! I probably should have said it that way. Then again, it would have sounded stupider. Okay. Uh, nothing. At this point, I'm just going to spin around so I make sure I don't miss items. Those were two items that I missed not doing that. Nope. And... Nope. Alright. To the front I go! Oh, so, so the minimap is moving while the train's going. I was thinking that it was only moving because I was moving. I only just noticed that. Nah, how? What? Check what? Gotta check the thing that I tried to check, huh? The fall of the empire. Hmm. This might be interesting. After his forces... Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> I tried to skip a word there because my brain is stupid. After his forces suffered crippling casualties against the Hydra Hydraean in Altitia, High Commander Ravis Knox Florette was sentenced to capital punishment. However, the Imperial Army has yet to appoint a successor to the late Lord Florette. Wait, they executed him? Oh, boy. Moreover, waves of magic troopers gone haywire. Oh, boy. Sorry, yawning again. I apologize. Uh, let me try that again. Because I yawned in the middle of it. Moreover, waves of magic troopers gone haywire have fled Halhex armory and begun assaulting the citizenry. Could this be the karmic retribution of those who turn their backs on the gods? Oh! Oh, so now, uh, their little demon-filled troopers are going against them. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Prompto? what's up? Okay, thanks for letting us know. Okay, thanks for not telling me shit. So, I guess we're just getting closer. Okay. Ice has started to become a problem. Enough to actually I slow down the train. Be this time. Attention now. Yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped. As for the cause, outside the village. We'll take a look. Hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. Well, I mean, let's be honest. Has it ever been something simple? Oh. It's freezing. You better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. Yeah. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Oh great, more demons. Let's clean up out here. Warm up in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's make this as fast as possible, huh? Okay, take out the wraith as fast as possible. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. What the heck again? Okay. Okay. This is gonna get bad. Oh, jeez. Man. These little shits are gonna be annoying real fast. Oh, okay. 
There we go. Got you. Ow. Just... Oh, fuck off. That was not fair. Alright. Okay. Libra Elementia. Okay, well. That was impressive. I keep forgetting about that ability he has now. Well, that does that. Oh, fuck off. A death Claw? I'm sorry, what? A what? Um. Ye. Um. Fallout guy in my brain is breaking <laughs> seeing that. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay then. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'm just gonna deal with this thing. Which is not typical death claw I'm used to seeing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Ow. But, got a blind side. Blind side. Blind side link. There we go. There we go. Oh boy. There we go. And into the fray. Um. There we go. There, that's what we need. I need to get a hang of that prompt, though. So. Okay, well, still not getting the hang of that prompt, but it's fine. Still gonna do a lot of damage regardless. Okay, Blade of the Mystic. Let's get this. Doing some damage. Whoa. Whoa, that was an ability and a half. Okay. Whoop, okay. Time to get out of here. Okay. Oh! It's... That's what it is. Okay. I was trying to figure out what... I was trying to figure out what the uh, energy... Whatever the hell coming out of the sword. Huh. That is cool. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh... Get an elixir and a Noctis. There we go. Alright. And... Keep targeting the uh, upper body. Get some damage in that way. Whoop. Ow. There we go. And it's down, Maria. Or Think frozen to waste. Think I don't know that. Yeah. Still being snippy at each other, huh? Eh? Hey, knocked! What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, there in a sack. Right. Something's not right. What do you mean? In. No way. You! Hold it! Oh, that son of a bitch. Knocked. You gotta be real careful and make sure that this isn't just him playing with your fucking head again. What the hell? Oh, boy. Well, so much for warming up in the train. 
Oh, what the fuck is going on up here? Okay, I'm moving forward, but it is not doing it quickly. Stop! Stop, damn it! Where is he? Where's Pronto? Oh, there you are. I'm worried about your friends. They've fallen and they can't get up. Why not lend them a hand? <laughs> What in the fuck did you A do? coolness that can only be hers. Wait. Gentiana? Ah, the face you wore the day. Oh. Well, so much for that. Let it now be done, as promised to the Oracle. Tiana, it's you. You're the Glacian. Tales of the past Whoa. and hopes for the future are manifest in the King of Kings. That is an outfit. <laughs> That's typical about Shiva, I guess. In the days that follow the war, while the six are still asleep, the pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the frost bear. She rushes to his aid. Only to be filled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. Maybe this still gives us some the insight. The safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The god's protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the pyre burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the frost bearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them. The gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the Pyre Burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the Six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm. And, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the Pyre Burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins. Their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. The Oracle is no longer of this world. 
but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. Yeah, let's hear it. When the boy begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it's my choice. If only... <laughs> If only I could hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we did as children. <laughs> if we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may. It is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The god's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. Thus it is promised between the Oracle and her familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. Restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now, I never had the chance. I'm so sorry.
I won't let you down. I know you won't. There you go, Not. Trident of the Oracle. What are you looking at? There you go. Hey. Wake up. What happened? Oh, no, fuck done, y'all missed. All right. Yeah. I saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. You all right there, Noct? Warming up a bit? Oh. Oh, shit. Ah, I almost cried there for a bit. Oh, the game pulled me back, but oh. Mm. That's a feeling I can understand. Okay. We board the train and depart. Was I not already on the train? Okay. Oh. <laughs> You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. Fuck off. For you ain't earned anything. Death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. I don't fucking care. And after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia? The seat of the Empire. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> what is your end game? Off you go then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> of days completed chapter 12 what the fuck is this end game just to fuck with me doesn't make any sense having stolen noctis's country crystal and cherished companions, Arden waits implacably in Gralia. And there it is on my computer. I, 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 I don't understand his end game. What does he want out of this? What is he hoping to accomplish if not this? If not allowing me to fail, 
Why is he giving me chances to succeed? We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but he knew that. Huh. Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zegnortus, an Imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. So, are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. Yeah. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. Why are we stopping in the middle of a the hell? hell? What is it? My guess, something to sidetrack us. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I can hear it from here. Okay, so. The game's already saved a checkpoint, so for right now I'm going to end the episode. Because, uh, I don't have more time for this. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Jesus, exposition dump times two, I guess. Oh, and all of the crazy bullshit in regards to the gods and, oh boy, Luna. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and getting another exposition dump. And uh, it's making sure that we can possibly get to Gralia, but we keep getting sidetracked with bullshit. And uh, this time it sounds pretty nasty for you.